You are watching this video, so I know I don't have to explain you how important email segmentation is. You just want to know how to do it and how to do it quickly, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm Hanne from Thrive Teams and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Thrive Leads and Thrive Quiz Builder to segment your email list and more importantly how to do it quickly. Let's start with the most straightforward way of segmenting your list through Thrive Leads. For this tutorial, I'm going to use an example of a yoga teacher and she sells different courses. One is the Vinyasa Yoga, the other one Yin Yoga, and then she also has a meditation, a mindfulness meditation course. And it would be very powerful to be able to segment her email list knowing which people are interested in which of these courses. And so there are three different ways that I'm going to show you to do this. Two of them are with Thrive Leads and one of them is with Thrive Quiz Builder. The very first thing that we're going to do is have a look at Thrive Leads. And now you will have to make a choice. Do you want people to self-segment or do you want to segment people based on what they are reading on your website? So that is the first thing that you have to decide because you can do both with Thrive Leads. I'm first going to show you how you can use the self-segmentation option in Thrive Leads and that is done through a multiple choice opt-in form. So as you can see, I already created the lead group that's called self-segment. And when we take a look at this opt-in form, then you can see that this is an opt-in form with three different options. So we are actually asking our visitor what they are most interested in. And depending on what they answer, they will get a different opt-in offer, which will then allow to segment the email list. So as you can see here, I have different states that are already created. So state, state one is the opt-in offer for the Vinyasa Yoga. State two, the opt-in offer for Yin Yoga. And state three, the opt-in offer for the mindfulness meditation course. So when we go to the default state, we now have the possibility to link each of these buttons up with a different state. So when I go to challenge my body, for example, this would be the vinyasa yoga. So when I click on this button and go to the event manager, I can add an event, select the trigger as click. The action would be switch state. And then this one would go to the first state. Now save the event and close. And we're going to repeat this for the other two buttons with linking to state two and linking to state three. Now the three buttons are linked up, which means that when somebody will click on a button, they will see one of the three states. Let me show you what this looks like. So if somebody decides to ask to take it slow, then they will be offered with the yin yoga offer. And this opt-in form will lead to the list or to the specific tag in your email service that then segments people into the yin yoga list. The big advantage of this type of opt-in offer is that you can show it everywhere on your website without having to segment anything yourself because people will segment themselves and choose what they are interested in. So that means that if you go back to your Thrive Leads dashboard, for this self-segmenting offer, you would go to the targeting options and simply select to show it on all posts and all pages and then save and close. And one last thing we have to do for this opt-in offer to show is go into the display on desktop, display on mobile and decide where we want to show it. So in this case, for a light box, I suggest we show it only on desktop because on mobile, this will take too much space. And now if we go to one of our blog posts, we can see that our opt-in offer is here and that if we click on one of the buttons, we are presented with the specific opt-in offer that is related to this topic. So this is a very easy way to segment your email list. The second way to segment your email list with Thrive Leads is by choosing yourself where you want to show different offers. So instead of having people self-segment, you will be the one deciding when you want to show which offer. Now, in this case, we still have our three offers. So the Vinyasa, the Yin Yoga and the Mindfulness, but we've created three different lead groups so that we can show three different opt-in forms on different 
places in the website. Let me quickly show you. From here, what I did is I added a post footer. You can add any opt-in form you want. This is just an example. Let's have a look at this opt-in form. So as you can see, we still have our video course, the free vinyasa video course. But now instead of having people click on a button first to say that they are interested in vinyasa, we are going to show this opt-in form on blog posts that are related to vinyasa because we know that people are already interested in the topic. To do that, you go back to your Thrive Leads dashboard and in the targeting options, go into categories. And here you can see that I have a category that's called vinyasa yoga. So let's click on that category, let's select it, save and close. Now this website is set up with categories, but maybe in your case you're using tags. And as you can see here, let me show that again. So categories and so on, here you can actually choose tags. So if you use tags rather than categories, you can also target your opt-in forms depending on those. Here too, let's make sure that we show it so that I can show you what happens. And one last thing, the self-segment offer, we showed it on all blog posts and the vinyasa offer, we want to show it only on the category vinyasa yoga. So what you will have to do is you have to make sure that this lead group is on top of the self-segment lead group because the logic and drive leads starts from the top. So, and it will check so that you don't have multiple opt-in forms on one blog post. So what does that mean? That means that if you have one opt-in form that you show on all your blog posts and then underneath you have an opt-in form that you show only on one category, it will never show because drive leads checked and already found an opt-in form on all categories. Let me see if I can find a blog post that is in the vinyasa yoga so this one actually is in that category let's refresh the, the page and now you can see that here we have our opt-in form that is a post footer opt-in and the light box is not showing anymore when i go to an article that is in a different category so not in the vinyasa yoga category like this article about mindfulness you will see that the opt-in form the light box is still showing but here there is no post footer. So this will allow you to make segmentation offers. As you can see here in the Drive Leads dashboard, I also created a form for yin yoga. So we could show this one on the yin yoga category. Here we go. And I created one for the mindfulness. So in this case, I created all post footers, but again, this is just for demonstration purpose. You can create any opt-in form you like. And here I will have to do exactly the same. So I have to switch the self segment as the last one so that now when Thrive Leads checks and it finds something in the vinyasa category, it will show vinyasa. And then if it checks again and it doesn't find in the first lead group something on the in category, but it will find it in the second lead group, it will show it too. And let's make sure that we display these on desktop too. And now when we refresh this page, so remember we had the light box opt-in that was showing just before, now, when we reload the page, you can see that here we have our post footer opt-in form that is about mindfulness meditation. And let me just show you a post that is in the yin yoga category. So here you can see that we have a post footer opt-in form that is about yin yoga. So this is the way that you can segment your list when you are the one choosing which opt-in offer you want to show on which blog post. Now, these were two ways to segment your email list with Thrive Leads, but it isn't finished yet because you can also use Thrive Quiz Builder to segment your list. So let's have a look at Thrive Quiz Builder. Now, I already set up a quiz that I called Yoga, Yoga Segmentation Quiz. So let's go and edit this quiz. And here in the quiz category, you can see that I created three categories, yin yoga, vinyasa yoga, and mindful meditation. So let's save this. And then in the questions, I just have four very simple questions. Let me show you. So the first question is, after a long day, you prefer to, 
and if we take a look at the answers, you can see that when people answer move, I will direct them to the vinyasa category. When they say unwind, it's yin yoga. And when they like to meditate, we send them to the mindful meditation. Now I added some other questions, like when it comes to yoga, do you consider yourself a beginner, an intermediate or an advanced? But this is actually information that I want to use for my website. This is not to segment people in different groups. So as you can see, the category is set to none, so it doesn't have any impact on the category. But then when you will look at your quiz results, you will actually get interesting information about your visitors. And that's the biggest advantage of using a quiz to segment people compared to using just the opt-in form. Because when you look at the multiple choice opt-in form, it is very cool and it works very good, but you can only ask one question. Like it isn't made to ask multiple questions to somebody where in this quiz, you can actually have them give more information, which will then allow you to maybe give them more content later on. So this could help you to write blog posts or this could help you then to make your email more, your email follow-up more targeted. So this is another question where I answer what's your biggest challenge during the exercise. And then we can say like strength, flexibility or concentration, you can see how if all of your visitors say that flexibility is a problem, then you can actually adapt your content and then you can start writing more blog posts about how to gain flexibility. Or you could actually adapt your sales page to make sure that you talk about the gain and flexibility with your courses. So this is how a quiz can be super interesting. But as you can see, very simple, four questions, you can do even less, but because it's a quiz, we can actually take advantage of this, have some more information. And then we just save and exit. And now where the segmentation power comes in is on the results page. So when you look at the results page, click on manage, you can see here that I have something that's called dynamic content. And here, I have results pages that are called yin yoga, vinyasa yoga, and mindful meditation. So these are the categories that we decided in the beginning for the quiz, remember? So everything that is within this dynamic content container will be specific to the result page. As you can see, I have an opt-in form in here. This means that people who arrive on the yin yoga result quiz we'll see this opt-in form, which is a different opt-in form than what people will see on the Vinyasa Yoga results page. And this will allow you to segment your email list with quizzes based on the results. Because then you can connect this to your email provider and you can either send people to different lists or you can add tags or you can send them to different groups. That's up to you and depending on your email provider, which one will suit best your needs. But as you can see, we have three different opt-in forms on the results pages. And let me just quickly show you what this looks like on the website. This is the page where the quiz is inserted. And as you can see, the first question, after a long day, you prefer to move. Um, the biggest challenge is flexibility. And then maybe we're intermediate. And let's say here we're a beginner at meditation. And here you can see the opt-in form that is specific to the yin yoga course. So that is how you can use Thrive Quiz Builder for email segmentation. Now it's your turn. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and that you will implement this strategy to segment your own email list. So go ahead, create a Thrive Leads opt-in form or create a segmentation quiz in Thrive Quiz Builder. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or just to share your results.